Hi everybody, my name is Vladislav and I'm here today to tell you something about AFMNS, Images Export and Visualization of Data. Uh, I have here one example from Lasso Fakata from Czech Academy of Science and it's like random feature with a lot of lots of features. So I level the image and if you want to export it, we have a special button for that here. It's journal quality export. Description of the export is sort of a easy one. You describe your file, which kind of file do you want to have it? What should be the quality? How many dots do you want to have per inch? How many or what should be the size? Uh, and what kind of uh, marks, what the kind of information do you want to have? Do you want to have there the curl bar, which represents the Z height? Yes, no. Do you want to have the scan size information? Yes, no. Actually, it's not only yes, no, it's no, that you don't want to have any. And two options for yes. On image means that the information will be on the image itself. Of the image means that the information will be next to the image. Uh, so what kind of information you can have? Uh, data scale, the scan size, the, not only the bar, also the text. Kind of the information. We are now talking about the kind of the sensor. So for our it's height, actually high sensor information and annotation, annotation, date, time, name, some parameters. The parameters, if I will show you, you can select it. And it's long list of parameters. For example, scanner is, that's all scanner parameter files, description, the settings, which are saved with, the, with an image. Yeah, what's the equipment to use the toolkit? What's the version of the measurement software? What was the positions and so on? A lot of par parameters, but generally it's not important. Or it could be important for some measurement, but date or time is the best one. If you have you will just define what kind of uh, core and the font you want to have. You have some pink, it's okay for and click export and just save it. And I save it to the same folder as usual. And if I go open it, that's the information which you get. The date here is the last one. Show data file, that's the highest sensor information. Scan size tech, text, that's the, this one. Uh, sidebar, this one. And data scale, yeah, size bar is this one, and scale is this one. So, that's the exportation, but that's the exportation in 2D. We can also do that in 3D. And for that, there is another button, another icon called 3D image. So I open it, and you can see I already got some 3D image. That's the structure, and you can play with the perspective as you want. Uh, what you can do, what you can play with, generate click with your button and move it and you are rotating. You can do a lot of things with your mouse. Generally there is a small hint. Uh, so let's start with the left mouse, left button on the mouse and moving and just changing the rotation. If I also click the control button and again left mouse I'm zooming and unzooming with the shift and left mouse. I'm moving in its 
Y direction with right button. Wait a second. With right button without changing the light shining on it. So the last thing is just the illumination control right up and down. So that's the moving all the parameters I was changing was here in the time. For example, if I am changing the illumination, you can see that the light page, that also a right rotation is changing as I'm moving it up and down or left to right. So that's for moving but and founding the best position which describes your sample the best as you want to have it but the most important part is that you can combine two kind of information here in the graph you can see that the uh, image i have have multiple channels it's from peak for stopping which enable to collect also the information about mechanical data so you have multiple channels here I will not describe it there are better videos which are much better to describe it but you, uh, I can click here for for example DMT modules and you can see that at the edge of the features which are on the sample there is a different area, different curve that's because you have a different area of contact, so it's it's reasonable that you have a change in your modules and elastic modules calculated by DMT model. So even if the sample here probably doesn't have any difference in the change because of the height changes, because of the uh, different contact area here around the edges, you have some contrast here. And what you can do is that you can prepare a 3D map, 3D map based on the information from high sensor, and you can plot the channel. This one is channel three, and you can plot an information from different channel. So you have information from two different channels at the same time and you can see all the dark curl I was talking about are around the edges yeah you can see if you will take a look here all the features going up they are much darker because that's the information from the different channel so at the same moment we have two information in one picture the morphology or topography which corresponds with the two topography and the information about mechanics which is in the color of the image so that's it and what with that or what you can do with that you can again export it and the settings as before, define your kind of uh, uh, images you want to have, TF, JPEG or something else, what should be the size of the image and what kind of uh, information about the uh, sizes, if you want to have a curve scale bar, scale bar, bar uh, describing the course or something like what should be the font size and then click export that's it two way how to export the data from afm images one for 2d and second one from 3d images which can sometimes gives you gives you much better information what's going on on the sample okay thank you for your attention